Many restaurants have been struggling during the pandemic. Tonight, be positive and encouraging. That's what a local restaurant owner is doing. He's telling us how he's surviving and staying positive during these difficult times. It's a local landmark. It's amazing. The legendary Barn Door Steakhouse first opened in 1963 and is a staple in Odessa. Adding to its appeal, the historic Pecos Depot. About 1973, um, they moved in the Pecos Depot which sits on, on the north side of the restaurant right now, and that was the original train depot in Pecos, Texas. Frank Green actually bought the Pecos Depot for $5,000. Some say this part of the restaurant is haunted. Turned around like this, and I could see Billy the ghost. If you visit, so you'll hear more ghost stories as well as be entertained. It's not often customers get to see owner Roy Gillian play the fiddle. How about that? These days, though, he's changing things up. Here this last year, it has been extremely, extremely tough. In order to stay afloat. Right now, we're at about anywhere from 35 to 40 percent down in revenue. Gillian now has a new general store inside the restaurant as well as a pickup window. You have to think outside the box. Even with the changes, many customers keep coming back for the nostalgia. It's like stepping back in time. Some have been coming here for decades. I've been coming here probably about 30 years. Growing up, there were five kids in, in, in our family. It almost it never failed that we always chose to come to the barn door. It was so cool to see steaks being cooked behind the grill there. I come here for my anniversary every year still. Now more than ever, they're hoping these locally owned businesses not only survive, but thrive. We're losing a lot of history when these restaurants go under and it's really important to get out and to support these businesses. The staff is also hoping for that support. There's just a lot of you know cool things that are going on with it that you don't find at a lot of other restaurants. It's their livelihood. February will be 22 years. Longtime employee Kim Moya has formed a close bond with many of the customers. I know about their families and they know about mine. In our house, we pray every morning before I come to work. All kinds of stuff right there. That's Gillian's faith has gotten him through this pandemic, and he'll keep fighting to keep the barn door open for many more generations to come in the basin. Gillian also does quite a bit for his employees, from giving away scholarships to even helping workers with medical conditions. If you'd like to get a great meal or maybe even see some ghosts, we have more information on the barn door on yourbasin.com.